Hi. Now, with, given that this website receives hits at a rate of 300 per hour, and in the previous part of the question, we were asked to say what distribution this followed, which was a press on distribution. And now we're being asked to find the probability of 10 hits in a given minute and at least 15 hits in two minutes. So if you'd like to give this a try, if you haven't done so already, just pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution against mine. And don't forget, there's plenty of tutorials on the Poisson distribution on my website, examsolutions.net. OK, welcome back if you did have a go. So let's see how you got on. Well, in this first part here, we've got to find the probability of 10 hits in a given minute. So we need to know what the mean rate of hits per minute are. We already know that there's 300 per hour, so from this it would follow that the number of hits okay, per minute is going to equal 300 divided by 60 for the 60 minutes per hour. So 300 divided by 60 gives us 5. So 5 hits per minute. That would be the mean rate okay, that we can expect. Now, the next thing I'd want to do is to define a random variable. Let's say we call it big X. Let X be the random variable. Let's say RV for short for random variable. And it's going to represent the number of hits to the website okay, per minute. We'll just do that for per minute. And we know that x follows a Poisson distribution, so we can say where x is distributed as a Poisson distribution, and there's only one parameter for the Poisson distribution, the mean. And the mean is going to be 5, so we'll just put that in there. So find the probability of 10 hits in a given minute. So when we're doing that, the probability that x, the number of hits per minute, equals 10, can be worked out in two ways. One of the ways is by using the Poisson cumulative probability tables. And if we're doing that, remember that your tables, and I've got an extract here, give you the mean lambda, which I've chosen as 5. So you'd look in the column that says 5. And then you've got your observed values down here. So going from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, and then I've picked it up as 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So these give us the probability of being less than or equal to any observed value x. So what we could do is, using these tables, think of this as being the probability that x is less than or equal to 10, okay, minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 9. This would leave us then with the probability x equals 10. And so if we just look these values up, the probability x is less than or equal to 10 is going to be this value in the tables here, 0.9863. So we've got, we'll do it in red here so we can color code it, 0.9863 and then we subtract probability that x is less than or equal to 9, which is this one in here, okay? 0 0.9682. And if we just carry out that subtraction, we end up with 0 0.0181, okay? Now I did say there was two ways that we could do this. The other way, to work out the probability x equals 10, let's just put or here, okay, is to go through the formula. By that I mean that you should remember that if x is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean of lambda, then the probability that x equals r is equal to lambda to the power r e to the minus lambda, all divided by r factorial. So this is a formula that you should 
be aware of okay so do try and learn that although some formula books do carry this okay so how does it apply to this one well if we're looking at r being equal to 10 lambda is 5 so therefore this is going to be lambda 5 to the power r which is 10 multiplied by e to the minus lambda e to the minus 5 all over r factorial 10 factorial now if you work this out you'll find that you get 0.01813 and so on so if we round this to say three significant figures then it's going to be 0.0181 to three significant figures 3SF and you can see that agrees with this value up here from the tables okay now in part D we've got to find the probability of at least 15 hits in two minutes so what we've got to do now is to redefine X up here so if we just say let X okay we could use any other letter if you like but let X be the random variable RV again for short and we'll have here number of hits okay per two minutes so what distribution is that going to follow well it's still going to be a Poisson distribution so X is distributed as a Poisson distribution but now we've got a mean of 10 okay five per minute so over two minutes the mean is doubled so we've got 10 there okay so when it comes to now working out the probability let's just border that off therefore when we look at the probability that X is at least 15 hits that is greater than or equal to 15 now I can't look use tables like this at the moment purely because they give less than or equal to a given value so I can get around this by doing one okay minus the probability that X is less than or equal to 14 so that this time when we have our tables let's just get an extract from them here okay when you look up your mean lambda equaling 10 we just want to go down the X column to 14 and you can see that there we have where X is 14 okay so this gives us 0.9165 of the probability of being less than or equal to 14 so we've got 1 minus the 0 0.9165 and if we work that out you end up with 0 0.0835 okay so I hope that's given you some idea then over this type of question